Uh, happy Thursday to my fellow open spokers, uh, the OOE 13s, and everyone participating in Open Educators Month. Uh, my name is Erin Luong, and I'm coming to you from Cherui, Japan, as your Thursday open spoker. Um, I'd like to thank Ben for his um, amazing welcome and leadership to um, this school year season of the Fellowship of the Open Spokes. Um, ben was actually the founding father of the Open Spokes for us, and he contacted a bunch of people and said, hey, what do you feel about uh, creating this kind of network? And I have to admit that before I started this project, I was pretty, uh, I was a newbie and pretty apprehensive. Um, my first MOOC I ever took was 10 months ago um, at MOOC. And uh, my first time on Twitter was uh, maybe a year and a half ago, but then I didn't really go on again <laughs> until I actually joined the MOOC. And my first time ever doing a vlog was probably last March. So um, I am relatively new to all of this stuff. Yet, as much as it's all new in my world, I can't even imagine not being a part of this community anymore. Um, so for those who don't know, I'll give you a little bit of background information about myself. Um, prior to this July, I was a high school counselor in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, um, at Bishop Carroll High School, which is a fabulous high school. Um, it's a self-directed learning high school. And I got to work with the fabulous Susan Spelman Can, who you will get to meet later on in the open spokes. And uh, being a school counselor, oftentimes you are the only person or one of a few people in your building who actually do what you do and understand what you do. And so I spent a lot of my career feeling a little bit isolated and alone and um, constantly calling people on the phone saying, hey, how do you do this? Or I'm having this kind of situation. Uh, can we debrief on this? Then I discovered a couple of resources that have transformed my life. Um, for example, on Twitter, I discovered the hashtags um, SC chat, school counselor chat. And then Susan and I uh, tried to start our own um, hashtag for Canadian counselors because as much as our American partners are fabulous, there are some things that are uniquely Canadian. Uh, so we have an a, a hashtag CSC chat. Um, and then I also discovered a lot of other amazing resources, such as the Google Plus Communities, um, Pinterest, Live Binders, um, Twitter just in general is amazing, and um, other networks. And so suddenly my debriefing list went from three people or four people to the world. And I think my students really um, appreciated that expanded knowledge. I know last year in my office, we would have lots of really amazing dialogue where I'd say, oh, how do you feel about this? Have you seen this website or have you checked this out? Or kids would come in and say, hey, I made you this project. Do you want to um, see this and that and it was just I don't know for me the openness it just opened so many possibilities and then the momentum of getting feedback from other people and being able to ask for feedback from other people just it really empowered me and it's pretty cool 
Um, right now, probably the reason I'm most excited that I learned how to be a connected educator is that uh, I am no longer living in Canada. I took a position as a coordinator of international relations between um, the Calgary Catholic School District and Truie, Japan. And so as of July 30th, I've been living in Truie, which is a really cute little town in the Gifu prefecture of Japan, which is like sort of in the middle of the big island. Don't worry. Uh, radiation is far away from me. And, um, and so I moved halfway across the world, yet thanks to technology and the internet and everything like that, I still feel like I'm at home. Um, I had, went in a fabulous, fabulous Connected Educators uh, chat with, uh, led by Roz yesterday with the OOE. I Skype my friends at home all the time. I'm still involved in all my communities. And so even though so much of my life is so different, I have my core and I have my people who um, I can bounce ideas off of. I can... I can ask, hey, uh, I want to try this, what do you think, or any ideas on this? And So, even though this all started about 10 months ago for me, I can't even imagine um, being able to be here today and feel as comfortable as I am without my openness and my connections. I look forward to meeting everybody and working with you more in the future.